Good evening, this is Catherine Grace with Catherine Grace Reports. I'm going to um, finish doing my series of videos about Rebecca Percy. And as I sit here and try to gather the information and gather my thoughts, it is truly so laced with insanity that it scrambles my brain and right here is where I want to say that if your testimony or your platform requires that I scramble my brain to aid you in any way for your testimony or your platform I, I don't want any part of it There are plenty of um, causes that there's not a lot of confusion, not, not a lot of insanity that I can put my effort towards. And that's definitely where I want to put my effort towards. Because I respect my brain and my God-given common sense. And if your um, cause requires that I check my God-given common sense at the door, that won't be happening. And so as I sat here trying to put things in a chronological order of sorts, it's difficult to know where to jump in. And I don't have, um, I'm not a YouTuber. It's obvious that this is not my thing. But I do feel like this information needs to get out there and it needs to be said. And one thing that I, an observa observation that I've made in this by the time this is all finished with, there are going to be a lot of people who have PTSD because this is such an emotional roller coaster. And that is exactly what the big problem is with Rebecca is the emotional roller coaster that people step onto when she comes into their life or we go into her life however you want to put it or I compare it to a train that is off the rails I don't know I'm really struggling with that but <sighs> mentally spiritually emotionally this is very unhealthy and that's why I won't be spending the next two months of my life talking about Rebecca. I'm going to be making these series of videos and provide information that I feel like people need. And then I'm going back to what I do. And um, one thing that I want to say is that people don't know me. They don't know what I did before Rebecca and what I did before Rebecca was I ministered to homeless people that is what my husband and I did and um, <clears throat> my daughter and her husband we all cooperated together at different times and ministered to homeless people and the way that we came into contact with these homeless people was my son died of a, a drug overdose. And so when my son passed, I knew that my life would radically change because my son was a very hard child to raise. And he was 38 when he passed. So he was not a young person. But anyway, 
after my son passed, I um, began to just hang out with his friends, the people that he knew before he passed away. And um, they needed help. And so we helped people. We helped people get off of the streets. And they did get off of the streets. And not only that, but now some of these same people have gone into ministry themselves. And um, there's one young woman who, um, she's now a worship leader in her church. And when I met her, she was, um, uh, her background was her mother had been Jehovah's Witness. And so what she knew of God and Jesus was what she had learned from the Jehovah's Witness. Well, now, not only does she know about God and Jesus, but she's had a true born-again experience and is a worship leader. And so that was what I did before I met Rebecca. And... um Then after Rebecca came into our lives, there was no more time for anybody else. And that was when the whole Team Becky roller coaster started. And so it has been a roller coaster. Anyway, I. I wanted to say that about myself before because, you know, people are like, well, who are you and what have you ever done in your life? And, you know, they talk down to me and I'm like, well, hold on just a minute here. And I don't do things so I can be seen by other people. I don't like... um saying, well, I did this or I did that. I was just an instrument. And God gets all the glory. And in all honesty, I had no idea that these people that I would be ministering to, all I did was take them boiled eggs or, you know, if they needed something, they knew they could call me and sometimes they knew that I was, you know, like depressed and because of what happened with my son and everything. And they would be like, she's been holed up in her house too long. She needs to get out. And they would call me and say, hey, we need something. Because they knew I'd just get in my car and go. And I did. And I had no idea that this woman would later become... A worship leader. But God did. And I'm thankful. My goodness, I'm thankful. And then there's another young man that he was on heroin and we helped him get off of the streets. Then he went back to the streets. And now he's in a rehab program. And he's serving God. And he is on fire for God. So that's what I did. Prior to Rebecca coming into our lives. And um, Then, like I said, after Rebecca came into our lives, there was no more room, no more emotion, no more energy, nothing. <coughs> and so, anyway, I'm going to... Um,
I'm going to cut this video off at this. I'm not trying to impress anybody. And, um, I'm just trying to present a more, um, complete picture of what has been happening with the whole Rebecca Percy thing. And in that, I do feel like that I have to give, um, explanation for myself, give answer for myself. And I do, and I will. And if you want to read more about, about me, if you want to read more about the situation, you can, um, check my blog at WordPress, which is Duffy1958 at wordpress.com. I have written many blogs and you can find out, um, more of the things there. You're going to find out more there than you will on my videos. And I write better than I make videos, but I'm not a great writer either. So, you know, I just have to work with what I have. So on that note, I'm going to end this and thanks for listening. Comment if you can or if you will or whatever lord bless you in jesus name amen